Hello everyone, welcome back to Football Feast Extra. We are now on episode 14 after the international break. I'm here with Billy and Baron. How are you both? Very well. Good? Bad, not bad. To do with a haircut and a shave, but other than that... <laughs> Definitely. I'm That's just glad the international football is over. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what a drag. Absolute shower of shit. Yeah. I mean, I tried watching that. Well, I did watch most of that Australia game, and yeah, whoa, that was yeah. Yeah, the, the Italy one was better. I had it on. I was on holiday. Yeah. But I had it on whilst I was doing stuff, and it was better. But the Australia one was just absolute. I, I mean, what you that, that Wembley still sells out for them Australia England games and the England I think they, door. They're quite cheap though, aren't they? Like they're yeah, not very expensive still. tickets. And I think you get, I think they get a lot of kids go, didn't they? Because like I think. Kids like England, don't they? You know, if your 10-year-old son's turning around going, Dad, I really want to watch England, you're probably not going to yeah. turn around and say, no, are you? True. Yeah, True, that. that's probably why they put the they put the competitive one on the weekday, didn't they? And they they put the um the friend yeah. on the weekend because yeah. the, kids, the kids can go, but they can't go probably go on a school night. Yeah, that's it, isn't it? But yeah, terrible. Uh, but we're back with the Premier League. Um, we've got... We're not going to go for every game, but there is some talking points and some VAR decisions and some penalties and all sorts of things going on this weekend that we want to get into. So we'll start off with the first uh, the first game of the weekend, Merseyside Derby, Liverpool and Everton. Lots happened in that game. What did you make of Liverpool? I still think they're bang average. I still don't think they look... I mean, I know they're winning games, but I don't think they look threatening that much. I mean, I don't think they would have won that game if... Um, Ashley Young hadn't been sent off, and if their bloke stayed on the pitch, if that makes sense. Yeah, I'm I mean, not convinced well, they would have won. I'm not convinced they would have won the game. No, I, I don't. I don't think they would have done either. And then this is why. I mean, I, I don't want to go too much into FPL because I'm going to do the FPL show uh, later in the week. But that's the only reason I didn't captain Salah. And I know it was a mistake because he did score twice. But, but I just find that the Merseyside debut is normally quite cagey, and you just it's, there's only only like a goal in it. It's yeah. very hard to predict. But Liverpool didn't look great, I don't think. I don't think they've looked great all season. I think they've looked. I think they've been lucky to get some of the results. Obviously, they've been a bit unlucky as well. But I mean, I think I don't think anyone other than Man City, but even they've had a few uh, things uh, go wrong. Um, I think everyone else looks kind of a bit average. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's not a standout team that I think they look like they're going to challenge. Good. Yeah, weren't impressed. Good. weren't impressed with Liverpool at all. No, but um, I keep going through stages of like, fucking hell, they're 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 good, and then yeah, and then not. Yeah. As we're talking that about is... standout teams, Tottenham just yeah, scored. They're... Tottenham just scored. <laughs> so yeah, Sons just scored. Oh, so we we're recording this on Monday night, and just in case you're wondering, Tottenham games <laughs> on. Um, Cuban yeah, Sons hasn't scored. <laughs> not impressed by Liverpool. You say a lot happened, but. Also, a lot didn't happen. It was absolutely dreadful game. It was a boring game, and I actually it was bad, such I such when I was at work, I was looking forward. To it. I was telling people I reckon because I, I think Everton are awful. I think they they are. I think they're in serious trouble. Um, but like, I generally thought Liverpool would beat them like four or five one. And this is what I'm saying. I'm yeah. disappointed in. I mean, I'll be honest with you. It, it, I did think it was a penalty, but I thought it was a lucky penalty. Mm. Um. And then if they don't score that or they don't get the penalty, because another day they won't give that penalty and there'll be a game next week, the same thing happens and they won't give it. I'm telling you. Um, they probably don't, and they don't score the 90th minute goal, do they, at all? Because they're Everton are all forward, aren't they, for it? Yeah. And um, who was it? Um, Canate shouldn't have been on the field. If Ashley no, Young's should... getting two bookings for yeah. that, he should be off. He shouldn't be on the field. The only thing I will say, though, is I do think that the Ashley Young are two bookings. Yeah, 100%. I do, I, I, I do think they are two bookings. But, and I, the only thing I'd say about the Kanai thing, if I if you are looking at some sort of thing, I think Ashley Young looks worse because he trips him. I know Kanai pulls him back, but I think if he trips him, he goes as well. But where he's sort of blocked him, I think that's where he gets away with it, if that makes sense. I love Ali McCoy, who was doing commentary, and he said about Ashley Young shouldn't have been sent off because it was a derby. You can't just let people off because it's a no, derby. That's not... Two bookings. <laughs> You're off the field. Like it's two bookings. Yeah. There's no. It, oh no, that's not a booking. They were both bookings. Get I, off the pitch. Yeah, mate. I when he was going, oh, you got to use common sense. No, actually, Young should use common sense by not yeah. diving in on a tackle in the first half. You've just been booked. Hundred yeah. percent. 
Ashley Young's 38 uh, years old. You know, he, he's he should know. <laughs> yeah, he should know. But I don't know. Yeah, but definitely, Kanate, I was, I was going to bring that up. Kanate should, probably should not, not have been on the pitch. If Ashley Young sent off for, for what he did, then Kanate definitely should have been on the pitch. knew it as well. He brought him straight off. That's what I mean. 100% he should have been on the field. The ref, the ref must have thought to himself then, I've made a mistake yeah. there. Yeah. Like, yeah if, so. the, if the manager, yeah. and the fact that he booked Sean Dyche, you know, I had a bit of talk sport on earlier because I was listening to it. And um, he had that, uh, what's his name? Simon Jordan, I think it is. Is that the one? In it? Yeah, that is the one. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. And he was saying, because Sean Dyche turned around in his press conference going, I don't know what I've put for because I'm just saying what everyone else thought. And, and he went, oh, well, it's because he was a power, like someone in a 40, which I don't get. But I mean, yeah, well, I mean, he's getting booked for blatantly obvious, him, the ref getting sat wrong. Yeah. Mean, like, yeah. just... did, did you hear Sean Dyche's interview after the game? I did watch it, yeah. I, did, I didn't see it live, but I did watch it. it did make me chuckle. He, he just said, like, when he said about Klopp bringing him off, he said, well, yeah, you would, wouldn't you? Like, anyone would. I'd have done the same thing because, like, he got away with one. It's, it's well, you would do, you should... wouldn't you? Yeah, 100%. You see, you've seen, it's not the first time that's happened. You've seen managers do it in the past. So it's not like, oh, Klopp is like a master striker, bring him off. Because I've seen loads of managers do it in the past. But you know, like, the ref must have looked around and thought, yeah, I've probably fucked that up there, haven't I? Like, yeah, 100%. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. As soon as you saw um, Karate's number go up, you were thinking, oh, yeah, I should, I should have sent him off 30 seconds ago. Mate, even the um, even uh, the commentator, didn't he, turn around and said, oh, well, Klopp's about to make stuff because he's just pulled Matt back off the bench and he's getting dressed, <laughs> like, or undressed. Do you know what I mean? Because they wear their track boots. But, um, yeah, did it, I thought, oh, mate, it's a, it's a laugh and it? it's a joke. I just... I, I mean, it, I think it's, we're going to spend about half hour chatting about refereeing, and I, I say it every week, and we'll say it again. I don't want to slag them off, but the standards are so low. It's mad how bad they've got with help you know, as well. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to throw out there. I blame VAR for it all because I think they're scared to make decisions. You got 100. percent I Definitely. mean, okay, they can't VAR the Canada. I think he's just bottled it there. He's just, he's at Anfield. He don't want to send a Liverpool player off because it's a hostile environment. We've seen it done before. We've seen it hundred times before. We've seen it at Old Trafford. You've seen it at the Everett. You've seen it everywhere. You know, it's not a new thing that, you know, the little teams don't get the favours. Like, he sent Ashley Young off. I think, yeah, that is a sending off. But yeah, Kanata's oh, got to go. But, mate, it's just, if they, like, done away with VAR, I think the rest would start making decisions again and again. And, yeah, you get some wrong. And people would understand it a bit more, wouldn't they? Because he's a human being. But when you, like say, when they get it wrong, and we'll, I'll bring that up in the Arsenal game in a minute because I, I think they got something wrong in that as well. Um, it's just mad, isn't it? I just think it's madness. The only thing I will say for the refs is since VAR has come in as well, the rules, how many times the rules change? They're every week. Yeah. Oh, massively. Week is bit... a penalty and then they're like, oh, no, actually, we've changed the rules now because that happens. So now this yeah. is a new rule. Like, refs are like, like what? <laughs> what the fuck? Because I'm going to throw that as well. I'm gonna, this is what I'm saying about. Like, the handball that whoever gave it, well, I can't remember who gave it away now, the Everton player gave it away. Now, I can't believe the ref didn't blow for that straight away yeah. and point penalty. Because it clearly hits his hand. There's clearly a Liverpool player behind. Now, if there's no Liverpool player behind him, or the keeper, the keeper's going to grab it, and it accidentally hits the bloke's arm, I can see, yeah, play on, use a bit of common sense, it was an accident. But, you know, the player behind him is probably going to put it in the goal, isn't it? It's, it's just, he's stopped a goal-scoring ch- charge. It's, it's, a, it's a handball, it's a penalty. But, you know, how, why the ref doesn't give that straight away? It's beyond me. It's getting I, I a can't bit, believe it. It's getting a bit stupid. Referee's not making a decision. Like offside, when the guy's like six miles offside, he lets That's... him play it. Like if one yeah. of them days, a the striker's going to go into the keeper. It's going to happen. Hurt, it will happen like, well, sooner, sooner, sooner or later. 10 yards offside. Everyone's seen it. Just put your fucking flag up. Yeah. Don't wait exactly. for VAR to go, no, he's offside there. Yeah, I agree. Just put it up. Make yeah. a decision for yourself. And then if it's wrong, that's what VAR is there for. Then they can tell you it's wrong. Yeah. 100%. Don't just, yeah. don't just wait and play the game on until VAR says, yeah. oh, no, by the way, yeah, that's a blatant penalty. Yeah, I thought that, <laughs> but uh, I was going, well, I was waiting for you guys. <laughs> yeah, and then oh, if, the, if VAR don't pull it up and say it's a blatant penalty, and it is, then it's VAR, the person that's on VAR that gets taken off the job next week, or the referees yeah. just almost don't have any accountability, um, and it's no. not right. I, I do want to say on the Liverpool Everton game, a bit away from referees just for a sec, because we will go back to them. Um, how clutch is Mo Salah? I know we talk about this every week, but Liverpool did not play well. Like we've all said that, but he's still come away with two goals. Like, I don't, I don't so, know how he does it. 
I, at the start of the season, right, when they got when there was talking about 150 million, I was one of these, mate, they've got to send him for that. You know, they've got enough up front. But I'm telling you now, if they'd sold him for that, don't get me wrong, they probably would have brought some super, some superstar in. But I mean, they'd be in a lot of trouble, wouldn't they? Because he does literally score or assist in every game. Every yeah. game. Whether he's playing well, whether they're playing well, he seems to just get a goal or assist. It's it's unbelievable. I don't know if you two agree, because obviously they've had a lot of good players in Liverpool, but he's the greatest Liverpool player I've ever seen. I'd say, yeah, I've ever seen. Like, yeah, definitely, 100%. Yeah. I his goal scoring re- no, goal-scoring record says it all, doesn't he? That was like, that was like his, more than 150 goals he scored at Anfield. Yeah, it's mad. His record is outrageous. He's not up there with, uh, with Ian Rush's goal-scoring record and that. So it's, I feel like he's only been there five minutes. You know, some of these players have been a- there... Ten years, and he's a winger. Like, yeah, he's not even a, he's not even a number nine. <laughs> and it's with with um Salah as well. It's like before a few years ago, he was playing with Firmino and Mane, and it that was that front three every game. So you can get some yeah. like, sort of understanding and partnerships. But now he's always playing, but you never know who he's going to play with it because is it going to be Diaz no. or Gakpo or Nunes or? But he still oh, yeah. churns out the numbers no matter who he's on the pitch with. So I, I don't think many players could do that like that consistently. And- Something, a shout out to the bloke who told him to sign him as well, the scout that went, yeah, this guy's good. Because he, he was rubbish at Chelsea, wasn't he? Proper failed at Chelsea. Because yeah. I remember when Roman, they brought him. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he did well at Roma, but I mean, it's a completely different league, isn't it? Like, it's a bit... And yeah. when, I remember when they brought him for like 30 million, I thought, it's a lot of money for him. Mate, it's like they're one of the bargains. The piss, they? Yeah, it's like one of the <laughs> bargains of the century now, isn't it? Now, now we're looking cool. at it. Oh, I was one of them taking the mick, massively. Yeah. What's but... even more mad is how many goals has he on already? He seems to score every single... He's not even looked good this season. No, that's no. what I mean. If, he's, if he goes back to like three years ago where he was probably like in his prime prime where he bangs 30 goals or 25 goals in, you know, if he goes back to that sort of standard, he'll, he'll score 30 goals this season. Do you know what I mean? Because he's already got yeah. five or six. I don't know, I don't know actually how many he's got. But... And he's not playing that well. Like the first half, I thought he was dog shit. I was like, fuck, sorry. I put him as a captain. I put my captain as Salah. And then this happens. Yeah. <laughs> Just scores all the time. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he's, he's got, like, I know you say you do your own FPL show, but he's got to be, like, a bit of a go-to man, isn't he? To, like, you know he's generally going to get a few points. Yeah, I think mm. he's owned by over 80% of people. I think he's only second to Haaland. Haaland's still owned by 90, over 90%, but Salah's up yeah. there with 80 yeah. Um, everyone's got him and you know what I was yeah in the first half I was thinking yes you know I was talking to you guys and I was saying yes I've made the right decision because I didn't captain him and everyone else did well you two did anyway and I was thinking <laughs> oh, I'm, on to, I'm on to a winner here and then he goes and scores two goals and I still did okay but I was 16 points off of both of you um, he got you did a big <laughs> big shout of yeah, Captain I captained... Trippier I will it nearly I'll worked out of... like... yeah <laughs> It went all talking about. Talk, I'm talking about refs having like grown some bollocks here. I think you did. You grew a pair there, putting him in as cap, uh, captain. <laughs> I'll give you yeah. that. I tell you, credit is due where credit is due. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, you got an assist Beat. and clean sheet. Yeah. So, and bonus points. You did get bonus points. Yeah, he got booked as yeah. well. Oh, did he? I didn't know. He that, always yeah. gets booked. That's the thing about Trippier. He always gets booked. But anyway, I'm going to get Well, he's probably because he's so far up the pitch. After he plays as a right winger most of the time, doesn't he? And he's, he must yeah. be well into his 30s now. You know, he's probably fed up a running back. He probably thinks, oh, I'll take, I'll take a yellow here. Take, I, I don't <laughs> think, is he that old? Is he in his 30s? Got to be, and he's been around forever. He has been around a while, but I didn't know he was in his 30s. I think he's just about 30, isn't he? I think. Yeah, he's really? not as old as Carl Walker. Yeah. How's Carl Walker? No, I don't think so. He's like 30, he must be 32, 33 now, Kyle Walker. Phone's coming out, it's got, I'm getting, getting on a search engine, I won't name which oh, one. Oh shit, yeah. No, Baron is right. He's 33 is years old, Kieran Trippier. Thank, yeah. you, thank you. Boy, That's I know my football. He's been everywhere, isn't he? Yeah, yeah he's, got, he's got an engine, isn't he, for a 30, 33 year old, isn't he? Really you know does, I mean? yeah. I mean, I'm 34 and I can't even run after that. <laughs> <laughs> no, <Nah, laughs> I'd be done. I'd, I'd, I'd run up the pitch and just wouldn't come back. Play five a side and run one end of the pitch and think, nah, I ain't getting back. Yes, just sub me. <laughs> roll on, roll off. <laughs> I literally would roll off. Um, right, are we moving on to the next game then? Right, okay, let's talk about, as I say, we're not going through them all. Let's talk about the other big game of the week and then let's talk about Chelsea versus Arsenal. There were some big calls in this one as well. Um, let's let the neutral go talk us through this one first. Billy, what did you think of the game? 
Um, I thought Chelsea first half would absolutely like dominated. I thought they nullified Arsenal quite well, and what Arsenal were good at, they pressed them really high, quickly as well. Um, but I thought overall it was probably a fair result, even though that's like Chelsea have been better for seventy minutes. I think overall it was probably the correct result because if you think like Chelsea's two goals were a bit fortunate, weren't they? Yeah, like there was the, there was a penalty decision, and then there was the Ronaldinho style cross that <laughs> flew in the net, and old Ray is just like, "What's going on?" He's, it's funny he funny because to... Saka did that to Chelsea a few years ago. <laughs> Joe, I said, yeah, I said this at once. I said this at once. I said it reminded me of that second goal. I think it was yeah. Boxing Day, you know. Um, yeah. In lockdown, he did it. Where we beat it 3-1. Yeah. yeah, it was, yeah. He, he did exactly the same thing. It went in and he acted like he meant yeah. it. I actually thought Arteta's right. substitutions were quite good as well. I think they changed it a bit. Yeah, I normally moan at him about his subs. Um, like yeah. for not playing two strikers when you're 2-0 down. Just bring both on. But it's paid off for him. Trossard's just... You want to get out of a sub, of, bring Trossard on, didn't you? Yeah, he's a, he's, a bit so of, he's a bit of a super sub, isn't he? Like, yeah, he's he's so good. Oh. But you're talking of Arteta substitutions, right? And I will admit this, and I was probably wrong because obviously what he did worked. I was shouting at the TV for him to put Thomas Partey on, and the whole game, and he never did. I know Billy, you don't really rate Partey that much, but I just think like if you look at Jorginho in midfield, like, Jorginho is good at what he does, but we had no he's control. Too slow. Right yeah, we had he's, no control. He's too slow. Um, he's a good little passer, do you know what I mean, Jorginho. He's even got an all right shot on him. But I think for a game like that, especially like Chelsea, quite a young team, they were up for it, obviously. They were like they were up for it, weren't they? Like they they just won three yeah. games in the bounce. I mean, it looked like a Sunday league game to me where one team had been out all night and the other team would like proper train for it. Do you know what I mean? I I, I haven't seen Arsenal play that bad. In probably two years, and I've been at like I was at the Brighton game last year when we lost three 0 at home, and I thought we played better then than we did in this game. And I don't yeah. think we would have got nothing out of that game if Sanchez hadn't messed up his kick or whatever. Yeah. But I'm just going to throw it out there. I know it was a bit of an open goal, but what a finish! It was a good finish. Was a good I finish. don't think you can underestimate how good that finish was from Declan Rice. No, it was. You know, I didn't even that away, isn't he? Oh well. man, yeah. and it looks even better where it like sort of almost clips the bottom of the post, doesn't it? Do you know, it, like, I think it yeah, just looks. Fish. Yeah, I mean, but like, Joe, you know I'm gonna throw out it. It was a penalty. A lot of people said to me it wasn't a penalty. To me, it was a penalty. Another one where I can't believe the ref just didn't blow and point to the spot straight away. I mean, I'm sitting in my front room and I can see it. So like, it's the Sanchez you, one when he it, jumped into Jesus. The modern game, you just can't do it. And yeah, I, I know Bill's shaking his head there, but mate, if I jump in the air and clatter through a defender, a striker, a midfielder. It's a foul. So why ain't it a foul when a goalkeeper does it? And do you know what else? Thiago Silva. Thiago Silva, mate, is a lucky man to be on that pitch. He dives in two-footed. Yeah, that was a bad tackle. I remember seeing that. I thought, yeah, it you know, I, yeah. He dives in two-footed and it doesn't even get a free kick of it. He takes Martinelli out. And even the fucking commentator turn around and go, well, he got a bit of the ball. Like, you yeah. haven't been allowed to two foot in this division for about 10 years. Longer than that. Like, yeah, I did see that. I thought that was a bit sus. Um, you know, that... you... I, just don't, mate, I just don't get it. No, I was just going to say, I just don't understand it. I mean, I do agree with Bill. I think Arsenal were very lucky to get... Well, Bill said he thought it was a fair result. I actually thought it was very lucky Arsenal got, got a point out of that. And after yeah, the first half performance, I, well, after the second goal went in, I never thought we would ever get anything out of that game. So I was actually quite happy in the end because at half time I was sort of sitting there screwing a little bit, thinking, "What the hell has happened to this Arsenal team?" Like, uh, you know, I, I, I think, I think Will was spot on actually because Chelsea were just like in the first half, like Pochettino got it spot on. Like he, they completely nullified everything that we did. Like we were bad because Chelsea made us bad in that first half. Like we yeah. couldn't do anything. It was, you know, to- they they played similar to how Tottenham played against us, but they, Chelsea did it better. Like Tottenham did nullify us a little bit, but we were still able to do something. That like Chelsea completely like took us out of the game. Like we weren't in it at all. Um, but I do mm. so touching on the penalty because you mentioned it. I I also think it's a penalty. Um, the 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 um the sleeper one that was given, just because mm. like I get what people are saying that like if if he's gonna jump, then he's got that's a natural position to put your hands, and it is. But the problem is, is that he's he shouldn't 
he shouldn't have jumped for it. Like, he was out of position. His body shape was wrong. He was you never going to win the that. header, was he? No. He was never going to win that. the header. Uh, I think Jamie Carrick said it. He's just panicked and just jumped. Like, I mean, yeah, I just... It was definitely a pen away for me. Definitely. I think if it's the other way around and that happens to Chelsea, I'm sitting there screaming penalty. Like, that has to be a yeah. penalty. And that's why I think it's a penalty because that's how I look at things. If I look at the other way around and think, like, Mate, if that goes against me, like, or that goes for me, I'm like, I don't know. Yeah, it, it was a clear penalty. I know a lot of people saying, "Oh, where's, what's he meant to do with his arms? What's he meant to?" Mate, just keep him a bit lower. I mean, you know, if Hasselbank said it. You know, if they're they're, they're, they're sort of more mid range, but they're actually above his head. What do you expect? Yeah. He made himself bigger, and like, if his body position was better, then he wouldn't. It wouldn't have been in that situation. Yeah. It was his own sort of positional I mean, error. That to leave has like. been one of our best players this season and last season. But yeah, he, for some strange reason, Chelsea found him out a little bit, which was weird because the week before you played probably the best striker in the world currently on form. And uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, I think Saliba plays better sniff. when he's got, when he's playing against a bigger bloke. Yeah. yeah. He, I want, think he wants to have a I little think you're right. battle. Yeah, I think you're right as well. Chelsea didn't play with a number nine. They didn't play with a number ten. They just played with wingers across the front. They kept into that changing. One minute Sterling was up front, then Palmer was up front. Moderate was like on the left, then he was on the right. I think that just confused them. They didn't know who they were meant to be marking because they they probably trained all week thinking Jackson was going to start up front, didn't they? Yeah. So, so yeah I mean, yeah, like probably. you train tactics, didn't you? And so probably when the game went in, he probably went, "Oh, just like I'm not saying Arteta probably did just do it, but I mean I don't know." Probably turned around and Slim said, "Oh." He went, yeah, to mark who should be Jackson's position. But then, if he's thinking, right, I've got Mark Sterling. Oh, he's on the left wing now. Do I go? Like, I can't really mark him now. You know, I think, like, yeah, like I say, Chelsea got the tactics spot on, didn't they? But Pochettino yeah. is a great manager. I've said this many a time. I think he will do fantastic at Chelsea. I think he probably will win trophies at Chelsea. It'll just take a bit of time. But after what I saw at the weekend, do you know what I mean? That's probably the best Chelsea have played in two years, and the worst that Arsenal have played two years, and it finished two all at the end of the day. Uh, so. Yeah. Are Chelsea going to be able to play that like that again for the rest of the season? If they do, they will challenge for. Well, I don't know about top four because there might be a few too many points off it now. But you know they'll they'll, they'll make Europe if they play like that every week. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and like you said about Saliba, I think that um, because he's very quick for such a big guy, I think that's why he does better against the, the bigger strikers because a lot of them don't have the pace and he can sort of muscle and outrun. But when you've got three players moving fluidly in, into the spaces yeah. and stuff. I think that they both struggle to deal with that. And Chelsea got a spot. And I just hope that the other teams don't pick up on that and start doing that because it'll be a nightmare. Hmm. But yeah. But. Um, so moving on um, from, I mean, that, they were the games this, this weekend. The rest of the games, none of, nothing really stood out. Man United did scrape a win, but nothing really. It was just bad refereeing, wasn't it? I'm just so glad to have the Premier League back, though. It was a, it was a good watch. But there's some some news stories that I do want to sort of touch on that's that's sort of happened over the last week and, and talk about. Um, so I saw a story the other day. Um, I, I don't know if you've seen this about a World Cup winner for Argentina that's uh, been banned from football for two years for failing a drugs test. He's currently without a club after leaving Monza in Italy. But does that not raise does that raise any eyebrows for anyone else? Um, a member of that World Cup winning squad has been. Um, has been tested positive for drug. Would you test the whole squad now? A bit late now, though, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, it's late to prove that they you, did it. How yeah. do you know that they didn't party after? And what's he been doped with? Is it is it is it recreational drugs or is it sports and hearts drugs? Do you know what I mean? Um, from what I saw, I think it's banned substances That's, from competitive yeah. sport well, rather than they're all banned. So they're all banned substances, aren't they? From yeah, not, sports, not, but... not, not something <laughs> like okay. None of them are legal. I'm yeah. like, this is a yeah. podcast. <laughs> 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 no, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, it, it's going to put in doubt, doesn't it? It always will do. But I mean, it's just like, what they should have done is drug tested every single one of the players straight after the World Cup, and it it had been done. But well, I don't really yeah. play much in the world. Did he play much in the World Cup? Is he like a? Uh, oh, his name is Payu but... yeah, Payu Gomez. I don't actually know who he is. Um, and if he's just if he's a free agent now, I, you know, I can't imagine he was probably. Was he the, the did he play for Atlanta? He played for Atlanta for a bit, didn't he? It, it, so he might have done for a bit. I know. I know he was at Monza yeah, uh, before yeah. he I mean, was a free agent. Yeah, it's sort of like saying that, but like I say, 
it's it'd be too hard to prove. And then what do you do? do you, what you take the World Cup off them? Give it to give it to France? I mean, I don't think you can really do a lot about it, can you? No, the only way that's about done now, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I don't really understand why these sportsmen take them. Really, I get it in like probably in like running. I get it probably in like weightlifting. But like in football, like you kind of have to be. What I mean, what's he taking to get him better? Like. I don't. I don't know. Yeah, like, I, don't, I, don't know I, I don't. I don't. I've never taken sports. Sports and hard drugs, as you can probably tell. <laughs> I so I don't know what. I don't know what makes it. I don't know if it makes him quicker, makes him better. Because there's quite Paul a few, Pop- isn't there? There's ones for like endurance and stuff like that. Yeah. There's ones that just make him obviously do a bit Paul better. Popper's in the gym, looking at a big band, isn't it? Yeah. Paul yeah, Popper's looking at a big band. Yeah. I mean, obviously, yeah. didn't I'm work a... for him, did it? No. <laughs> been injured for most of the year. He got worse since taking the drugs. He should go get a refund. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but it's it's crazy the state of the state of football in Italy at the moment because they've just had a scandal after scandal. They've had the whole Juventus thing. Um, they've had obviously this thing. He, this this guy he played played in Italy. I don't know if it's you know anything to do with club football, but it was over in Italy. And then we've got the uh, the betting scandal that's currently going on with um, Italian players. They were in Italy. I don't think. He, Many of them are now. Tenali, Zaniolo, and there was another guy that plays for Juventus. And I, I can't <laughs> he grassed him up, didn't he? And he grassed him up, yeah. He's, These he's, other geezers yeah. just grassed his mates up. He's like, no, it weren't just me. Tenali, <laughs> he's in on it. Zaniolo, whatever his name is, he's yeah. done it as well. <laughs> Like, and he, uh, he said punishment, man. Jesus Christ. He said Tenali talked him all into it as well. He said he was the one that had the problem. He got us all into it. Like, it was just completely stitched him up. Do you think, right, I'm going to change the subject. It's going to be a bit harsh here. But do you think, because old Tenali's agent's come out in here and said he's got a gambling problem. Do you think he's gone down this line? So he, Waffle. The, yeah. So basically, because he's looking at a year ban, isn't he? Now, if he gets a year ban, I don't think Newcastle would sack him because obviously... You know, they've paid a lot of money for him. They're not going to lose their investment, are they? Like, that's just not going to happen. So, but, I mean, they'd probably be able to, probably not pay him for a year, wouldn't they? Because if you're not playing, why should I have to pay you? So, they, they, there's probably some yeah. sort of court, court way around it or thing. But, number one, I reckon AC Milan must have known about this. That's why they got it for so cheap. Because he was one of the best young yeah. European talents, isn't he? Yeah. So, they must have known about yeah. it. So, they a few cards. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, like, right, because we talked about it on here, like, you know, Declan Rice is 105 million. You can buy this guy for 55 million, who's about the same age. And all right, he's not got the markup of Declan Rice. But he that's was the begging stats, not to leave as well, wasn't he? He was he was yeah, begging not to leave was... AC Milan. They were <laughs> yeah, like, oh, must... you need to go quick. <laughs> yeah, before get everyone out finds out about it. <laughs> yeah, it's just all a bit. It's all a bit weird if you ask me. I just don't get it. I mean, I just... if there's stuff to bet on, right? Why bet on football? I suppose he knows everything about football, doesn't he? but. But he's betting on his own I mean, team, isn't he? Not... Like, I know we said yeah. Tony bet on his own team, but he wasn't there at the time. He was on loan at someone else and he bet on yeah. his parent club or whatever. He, yeah. Tana- Tanali's actually betting on his own club that he's playing for did, at the current time. Yeah. There's a statement I read said he wasn't betting on even the same league. That's That, that was his agent, though. I don't know if that's oh, true. That's all I've seen. Yeah. He wasn't betting on... Well, I've seen that he's betting games that he's played in like he was playing in. He was actually yeah. on the pitch. And all this, I'm a gambling addict. <laughs> bullshit, mate. You you enjoy a couple of bets. You've been caught. Let's not let's not like you're the yeah. victim here. You're not a gambling yeah. addict. You've had a couple of bets and you've been found out. Yeah, but it's it's proper going around. But, it? I mean, Paqueta's still in trouble yeah. for it as well, isn't he? Yeah. Well, what but, a player he is, though. By the way, I know yeah. they lost yesterday against Villa, but geez, what a player! Good player. Yeah, he's a good player. He'll be off soon, money. Oh, mate. Side. Yeah, of course they won't keep. West Ham are a feeder club, isn't they, for most other clubs? Like, he'll go City. Once this betting thing's sorted out, if he gets to the City, will. he'll buy him. Yeah, oh, yeah. 100%. He he'd fits be Mustard at City as well, wouldn't he? Yeah, he'd be well yeah. good at City, wouldn't he? Like, box to box, like, up and down, everywhere you like. Yeah. Like, didn't they say no, yesterday that I mean... like, they've never seen someone who gets, like, the same amount of bookings as they get assists <laughs> like, in a season? <laughs> I, I did see that he's made the most tackles in the team and the most through balls compared completely That's in the, the team. one, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, That's they the come one. up on the screen and I think, who was it? Was it Joey Redham saying, I've never seen that before. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty mad when you think about it. You don't like, yeah. you wouldn't expect it, would you? Yeah, but no, you do, he, he's, he's, a, he's an engine, isn't he? You see him run around, didn't you? Like up and down, up and down. You do see him on a bit, I mean, yeah. 
weren't sure about his overhead kick attempt, but you know, we'll, oh, we'll I, miss, pass I that. didn't see it. I didn't see that. <laughs> I, must say, I, nah. I only saw sort of the first half, I think, um, and then I, I had a nice dinner. So. It's a good game. It's a good game. But, uh, good yeah, game? I mean, we could talk about that game for a minute, really, because it was a good game. Right? I mean, we could talk yeah. about. Then we can move on to a bit of Ollie Watkins and that if you want to. Um, yeah. If you if you're happy to, or if you want to say anything more about yeah, yeah, the yeah. Italian scandals. No, no, no. But, happy um, for you to... Bantanali. Bantanali. Is that what you're... Well, yeah, they'll all get banned. They'll all get banned, wouldn't they? 100%. It's oh, just how long... you never play for Newcastle again? <laughs> oh, you know what? I, I think not only, not only should they be banned, I think these clubs should all get points deductions. <laughs> yeah, but it's not the clubs, because... <laughs> Come on, that's not bad. But, I mean, yeah, like, so people do it in fake names now, didn't they? Like... Yeah. Obviously, yeah. not like very, very secure. Well, just but... get your mate yeah. to do it. Yeah, I always sign think that up for your email address. Get your name yeah, get... at AC Milan. Isn't that yeah. what Daniel Sturridge did? Didn't Sturridge do that? He got his Someone brother did. or something. Well, tri- Trippier, Trippier told his brother in law to put a load of money on him moving to, a, uh, to Athletic Camp Madrid. Yeah. And Trippier. And he got, a 12, yeah. he got a 12 match ban or a three month ban. I can't remember what it was. I think it was three months. Because, mm. yeah, his brother in law put like 30 grand down on it. <laughs> Like, the, like that's not going to flag up on a system. Yeah. Some bloke, oh, some bloke has just put thirty grand on like Kieran Trippier going to Asian land. Is it? Do we even know he's linked there? And then bang, next day he signs for him. Like, well, oh, I feel like I'm as good. You mean? Uh, yeah, we're, yeah. AC Milan. I just said didn't I? Because we're talking about it. But like, well, how did you not think that wouldn't flag up somehow? And then when they looked into it, oh, he's married to the bloke's sister. Do you not think he told him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's stupid, isn't it? Not the smartest. Oh, I mean, no, I mean they, they take the piss out of footballers for not being very clever, but you can see why, can't you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's but not the smartest. Anyway. Right. Talk, yeah, talking, about, talking about Aston Villa and West Ham, let's, let's go on right. to um, let's go on to well, Watkins then. Yeah, well, just quickly about West, uh, Aston Villa. Mate, they, they do look good. They, look, I mean, that first 45 minutes, they could have been 4 nil up, 5 nil up, but... Yeah, I just, right. With Ollie Watkins, I know me and Bill had a bit of a discussion yesterday about it. Now I do like Ollie Watkins. I do think he's a good player. He scores goals, obviously, but he's also. I look at him sometimes. I just think you're shit. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> right. What well, what an argument that is. I just look at him and think <laughs> shit. <laughs> no, no, like some of his. I mean, don't get me wrong. Everyone has good and bad, but like, like in the in the space of thirty seconds, he knocks this ball down to whoever it was. Like. Yeah. Get, like a lovely first touch, knocks it straight to him, goes on the run, gets the ball back, and then he like P rolls it to the goalkeeper when he's got two unmarked players that like you think. Do you know what I mean? Like it should be a simple ball for a person of your quality. Do you know what I mean? I just, I just I've seen quite a bit of him, and yes, he has scored quite a few goals. Yes, I get it, and he's got a couple of six. I get it, but he's in a team that he's scoring loads of goals at the moment, so it does happen, doesn't it? But I just I can see all I'm trying to say is I can see why Gaff okay, doesn't pick him every time. Because all all round play, I don't think he's that good. Yeah, but we have this argument all the time. What do you want from your striker? Yeah, he'll I know. Goals. And he'll score I know. goals. I oh, know. I just, I don't know. I just like to pick on people, don't I? <laughs> Especially if they can't get. He's to not because <laughs> we were like we were saying like about Watkins and Jesus. Watkins yeah. is a better goal scorer by a million miles than Jesus is. Yeah, but I, I think don't I rate do. Jesus. I said this no, yesterday. I, know, I, don't, yeah, I don't really rate him. I think City made him look look better than he was. Yeah. I mean, there was a season they didn't have a strike, and he still didn't play. Yeah, yeah. I just, I right just way. don't. If Arsenal are going to win the league, you might have a chance this year with City not looking as good as they were. I think but we got by Ivan Tony in January to improve. Yeah, you need. I think to... we need to buy. I think we need to buy Ivan Tony in January if we want to win. This, if we seriously want to win this league, the, to come the problem is. I would like, yeah, about I, yeah, I, I wouldn't get rid of him. Yeah, I would, mate, he's a good player. He plays on the wing, you know, as well. I like Hazus. I, I do like Hazus, but I don't think he's going to score you twenty-five goals a season. And I think that's the difference between you winning the league and not winning the league is having a stri- striker score you twenty-five goals. I mean, it's all right saying Odegaard scored fourteen last season, Saka scored fifteen last season, Martinelli scored thirteen last season. You know, Hazus scored eleven last season. He was injured for three months, but. You need someone to score you that, them goals, then another 25. 
So I've got a quick question for you both. Go with Baron first. Would you take Ollie Watkins over Jesus right now? Straight no, forward. If someone no, says to you. I don't think I would. I don't think... Andrew? I think he misses more than he scores. If I had them both in my team, I would start Watkins, but I wouldn't go out and buy him because I don't think he's enough of an upgrade. That, that wasn't money. my question, Andrew. It was, uh, would you swap him right now? Yeah, well, well, it depends. What's the financial implications of it? Like, you've got way no, just enough. swap him. No just swap him. I, I would start... Just... Would I said, you swap I, him? I just said... It's a, it's a, it's a, I just said... It's a yes or no. It's a yes or no. I'm not, I said no. I'm not, I'm I said not no. Wage demands. Would you swap... Hey, so you spot Ollie Watkins right yeah, now, yes John, or no? I just said if I had them both in my team, I'd start Watkins, so yes. Well, that's, that was right. hard, wasn't it? Because <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't let me get you wouldn't let me get a bloody sentence out. That's why it was hard. Who's going through to... contract details? <laughs> I just, Who is looking at add-ons said, and I, that? Well, no, no, I don't fucking care about the add-ons. All I'm saying is I wouldn't go out and spend the money. It's the baseline thing, I want an extra ten grand. I just don't think he's I don't think he's that much better than Jesus. I wouldn't go out and pay I don't million. think I would not pay fifty million for him, no way. And now he's on that new contract, he's probably worth even more than that, isn't he? To, exactly. To That's Aston what I mean. Villa. I wouldn't go out. That's the villa, I mean. I, I yeah. would pay that money for Tony. I think he's another level. I think he's a level better than Watkins, and he's two levels better than Jesus, maybe. So I would go out and pay that. But I don't think Watkins is enough of an upgrade to go out and spend that money. That's, that's all I'm saying. Yeah. Okay, we'll probably end up with Watkins. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wouldn't know. Uh. I would. I, I think up for Watkins Jesus can Jesus. do things that like not many strikers can do with the ball, like but he just doesn't have the output, and he's not like one or the other. You know, like how Firmino used to. He didn't used to score many goals, right? But everyone around him scored loads of goals because of his work. Jesus doesn't really offer that either. Like he, I don't. He doesn't get that many assists. He, he doesn't do do, he really contribute. Not really. Like he's involved in the build up, but he doesn't get like the final ball or anything like that. Like not yeah, like. Yeah, but that, you can say that about like. You can say that about loads of things, can you? Like, I remember watching yeah, a game where um, I think it was Man City versus Stoke uh, and Man City won 6-1 and Kevin mm. De Bruyne was involved in every goal but didn't get a single assist. But it was his ball that put through the winger to set up the shot. So, I mean, as long as he's, you know, he's in the build-up, I think he's, yeah, I think he's everything. I mean, he, he, he yeah. is in the build-up for some goals. I just don't think he's in it enough. Like, and yeah, he has I'll, been injured I'll, a lot as well. Like, he's not really... Yeah. I, I don't really just, think he offers... I think he's got a, a really scored. good ability on the ball. Oh, is he? Get in. I've got him in my face. Yeah, go. Oh, I haven't. <laughs> Who got the assist? Son. Oh. Uh, but I'm go ahead, Andrew, sorry. Every, yeah. Everyone's got Son now, haven't they? I haven't. Have you not? No. I'll have Son. I can't have Son, oh. Salah, and Harden. Oh. How do you think I could... I've got I can't I've got Song, Hassan, and Haaland in my team. Yeah, but you've got like no one, like you've got no one on your bench, no one on your. I've got no one on your What? How often do you use your bench, mate? When you need to transfer players out that are injured and you don't want to take a points deduction, <laughs> it's quite. I've got to play with ten men. I've got to play with ten men. Fair enough. Right, I've, I've got Alvarez as well in that team. I've got a good team. Yeah. I've got Odegaard. You want to? You want to take? You, you got some extra money in there. Though. I will review your team on the FPL show to see how you've managed to fit all them in. <laughs> we'll I've still, still got point three of a million to spend as well. Oh, Jesus Christ, you must have like... Well, you've got Lamptey, who's like the cheapest player in FPL. He's like 3.9 million. I don't think I have now. I, don't think, I think I got rid of him. I think I, 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 think I, I stopped him out. Actually, I think I'm you not, take. I'm not, I I'm going to have a little look. Yeah, Anyways. no, I ain't got him anymore. We'll go through your team when I do the FPL show this week, but I might end up I might end up with a bit of a ninety point rating this week. Been a good week for, for it's been a good week for everyone, really, <laughs> apart from Tom. Because it because it, yeah. <laughs> Poor old Tom. <laughs> I did say to him, You're literally giving me the title at the moment. Like he's yeah, I don't giving know. us the title. If that's the thing. I just don't want Andrew I just don't want Andrew to win this year because he won last year. <laughs> I don't think I will. I think I fucked it when I didn't captain Harland on that week where he scored at trick. Like I think that proper fucked me up. And so since then, I've just been like, you know what? I'll try this. I'll try captain Trippier, or I'm just trying to make up the points where like I don't want to do the same thing as you because I'll just I'll never make up the points that way. So it's like trying. Thing to is, it's like, very hard 
Um, it's what I've tried to say to Bill a couple of times, even though he's a bit stubborn and don't like to listen to it. But to be fair, his team's doing all right, so he is right in this instant. But you kind of have to have the players. Yeah, you have to kind of have the players that everyone else has. Otherwise, you lose ground on them when they do what Like... He ain't yeah. got Haaland at the moment, which is fair enough. And this week he's done well because, he's, like I said, he's probably going to hit 100 points. But if Haaland bangs in a hat-trick next week and he ain't got him, he's fucked. Yeah. He's literally fucked. And you've gained, what, 10 points on me, but next week you've lost 30 points. Or maybe not 30, but say 20 points. You know, it is well annoying. They've just bought a doji off just before you get your six points. <laughs> just before you get your clean <laughs> sheet I... points. Oh, do, you not get, do you not get a clean sheet then if they don't stay on? No, no, 60 minutes. They've got to get to the certain minutes. Yeah. (laughs) No no, 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 hundred points for you, mate. (laughs) Well, I'm on I'm on eighty nine now. Oh right, okay, maybe. You'll get you'll get another son or Madison goal. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't got Madison. I've yeah. Right, anyway, should we crack on with the podcast? Yeah, that's yeah, we've got, 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 got carried away. To be fair, we, we've not got much more to go for anyway. Um, I did want to touch on that post that Billy showed us earlier about the Arsenal women's team. <laughs> now, we'll be careful. We don't want to get cancelled. But, so... I've got something to say. I've got something to say. Let, 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 let me go for that. Line, say, yeah. that. So, right. so the, the Arsenal women's team um, have been criticised for their team photo because they they don't have any diversity in their team. It's, it's all white women, basically. And they've come out and said that they've put a statement out saying that it's a priority to to get more diversity in their women's team. I don't know how else to say it. Um, go on, Baron. What, what's your what's your point? So I get it, right? But I don't get it. <laughs> right. So you're just playing eleven people at the end of the day, aren't you? It don't matter who they are. It don't matter if they're white, black, blue, green, purple, pink, whatever. You're just playing eleven players. Now I remember back in the day. I think it was about two thousand three, four. Arsenal were the first team to have no British players in this squad, like 11 and subs. Chelsea were the first team to have no none in their first 11. Arsenal first, and they got criticised for it. And Wenger came out with the famous saying of, I don't check people's passports when I sign them. So it is what it is. But it's now it's almost like swung the other way, isn't it? Isn't it? Like no, I don't know. I don't know much about the women's game. I'll be honest with you. I, you know, I'm not a massive fan of it. I have no idea if they were 11 English women or whatever, but I just don't think it really matters. And I think it's actually a bit wrong of them to turn around and say, you're right, we need to get a black person in there or an Asian person in there. I think that's wrong because it's just not right, is it? Like you're, you're hindering someone else for a position. They might not be as good as them, but oh, hang on a minute, because the camera's on, I need to be a bit careful. I just don't, I don't understand it. I think it's wrong I don't that they've released that problem. It's a full-on life problem. It's a world problem at the moment. Like, just it doesn't matter, does it? It really doesn't no. matter if if your player's good enough, they play. If they're not, they don't play. It doesn't matter if, like Baron said, they could be black, Asian, white, Hispanic. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. No one's going to look at the Crystal Palace team, are they? No one's yeah. sending a picture of that in, going, oh, where are all the white people? Where are all the, the Spanish people? It's just Anderson, isn't no it? No one's doing it, because it just Anderson doesn't Johnson. matter. Yeah. Yeah, it, it if doesn't you matter. Really like, if you just want to just get rid of all this, well, or have all this equality and just for everyone, just don't look at people's colours and just let them <laughs> let whoever's oh, playing gonna, play football. I'm going to throw a bit of a spanner in the works here and change the subject, but stay on the subject, if that makes sense. I'm going to move over to rugby, right? Now, I don't know if you've watched the rug, I've seen any of the rugby headlines, but one of the England players who is white has accused the South African of racially abusing him. And I've heard the, the, um, the sentence that has been used, right? And do you know what the ref did when he turned around and said to the ref, he's just called me or whatever? The ref went, don't worry about it, play on. Now, how bad is the hat? But I bet if it was the other way around... Yeah. And the black player yeah. went over to the ref and said, he just called me whatever. I bet the whole game would have stopped. Yeah, 100%. The game would have been bad it, for how long. Didn't, it, didn't that happen in the Rangers game a few years ago in Europe where the other team was said something about one of the Rangers black players and it was caused like it was fights and it all got stopped and it was yeah. carnage, wasn't it? Yeah, I think that, yeah, it was that. 
yeah, I think I do remember that. Yeah, Slavia Prague, I think but, it was, or something like that. Yeah, but they they're known for it, ain't they? Like there's just some. I mean, I see a picture of what was it? Of Spanish football the other day, and oh my god, some of the crowd and that. What they make grow up? Yeah, the, the Bellingham so, stuff. Yeah. Bellingham's just been done, has he? Like racially yeah. abused him and stuff. All I mean, the stuff grow after, up. Um, all the stuff after the Euros with Saka and Rashford and that. None of it's obviously like they should be banned immediately if they're, if they're caught. But just but, grow up. If you want to stop it, just stop bringing people's colours into it and just play football. If you don't like someone, you don't like someone. It's not because they're a different colour to you. It's just because you don't like them. Yeah. If someone's just got a whole a white bit. team, they've got a whole white team. They're not being racist. No, no I just, not... yeah, do you know what I mean? I actually, I'm going to throw out, I weren't going to say it, but I'm going to throw out. I think it's a little bit racist that someone's actually turned around and said that. Like, yeah, where's, no where's, one... where's, 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 because, yeah, what, you know, it's hard, isn't it? It's hard to explain without sounding rude, but, you know, where, yeah. You know, it's not it's not Arsenal's fault that their team's all white, is it? The fact no, that they've had to like... come out and apologise, I think, is actually shocking. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm getting at. And I'm Especially... not saying it because it's Arsenal. It could have been any. It could have been Spurs, and I would have stuck up for them on this one. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It, especially when you, look at the, apologize. when you look at their men's team as well, Arsenal as well. They've got like players like Tommy Asu. They've got you know they've got black players. They've got white players. They've got Spanish players. They've got a Spanish manager. It, it's it's very diverse. So it's clearly not like a culture in the club. It's it's just <laughs> they had. I mean, football Arsenal in England is probably women. the most diverse. Yeah. League. Yeah. On the planet, we are, we, we've got to be the best. I mean, Ma- Mario Balotelli was the first black player to play for Italy in like yeah. 2010. That's how shocking that is. Yeah, yeah. T- talk- talking of Mario Balotelli, <laughs> did anyone else see that post from Sandro Tonali about Mario Balotelli? Oh, yeah, oh, is, that a, oh. is that real though? It was, that, but, I, just real, point, but, I don't want to stick up for him here, but the post had a recent picture of Sandro Tonali. Oh, did it? Like his uh, profile I... picture was a recent picture, so I don't really want to say too much because I don't think it was him. <laughs> yeah, apparently this happened when he was like eleven years old or something. Tonali, like that's what I was reading. Like honestly, I don't know. It's just, it's just. Also, well, so I'm going to throw out there as well. I don't think you can really like moan at people uh, who people are like make mistakes, don't they? When well, they're kids, they when you're eleven children. years old. And, and I mean, you I, learn, I know he's educated. Sure. If he was Take 11 years old and didn't know the bloke, that, yeah, that's one thing. But do you remember the one a few years ago, the two Man City players? Who was it? I can't even remember who it was now. But I remember me, you, oh, that's, uh, yeah, and that's Ben so talking annoying. about this at the time. When they were just like yeah. ribbing each other. It might have been Mendy and De Bruyne or someone like that. I can't remember who it was. But it was, was Mendy, just, and, uh, Mendy and Bernardo Silva. Was it? So yeah. Bernard, Mendy called him, put a little cartoon picture of Mario or Luigi oh. one or the two, <laughs> and said, look, this is you as a kid. So Bernardo Silva put up a picture of this cartoon of this black kid and said, look, it's Mendy. And yeah. then people go mental at Bernardo Silva. Yeah, I do like, remember It's that. exactly the same. No power yeah. messing around. Just leave it. For some strange reason, and I'll never understand it, when it is racist towards black people, it always seems to be worse than the other way around. Yeah, I think it just needs to just all stop and just like just, yeah, just play football. get on with your lives. If two people messing around with each other and they both know they're messing around, yeah. does it really matter what they do? I think maybe next week we should get a black guy on because this is this is looking a bit too white for me. Yeah, <laughs> maybe a woman on the panel, <laughs> or maybe a woman. Yeah, yeah, a woman. I can ask, I can ask Natalie if she wants to have a go. She'll see on the edge. <laughs> we'll, we'll go fully Sky Sports. We we'll have Clinton oh, Morrison and Sue Smith seeing it next week. <laughs> To be fair, oh, we're getting less yeah. viewers. Yeah. <laughs> so the picture I put in the group chat earlier was the United 2018 with Rooney, Tevez, Ronaldo, Skulls, Carrick, Hargreaves, Vidic, Ferdinand, Van der Sar, Evra against uh, last year's City team. And I just said, who will win? Baron is convinced that City would win. Yeah, I look, I look at the matchups, right? And I'll give you right, some... Man, you know I've got some great players in there, but I'm like, Owen Hargreaves at right right midfield. Like I can't, I'm not seeing that personally. I think like Bernardo Silva is running down that wing and leaving him for dead. You know, Michael Carrick as much as he's he was a good player or he is a good player. I like Michael. You know, I just think yeah. De Bruyne, Gundogan. I think they're better players. Uh, Rodri is by like, standout the best midfielder on the pitch out of them. Out of that, so if you, I mean, I'm not counting Ronaldo as a midfielder. He's down here as left wing, and then like Wes Brown right back. 
really. Yeah, that's so, the, I mean, Haaland. <laughs> Haaland, <laughs> Grealish, Haaland, and Bernardo Silva are having a field day there, aren't they? Even Kevin Royd is running down that side, aren't they? They're all going down there. I mean, don't get wrong, Fidditch and Fernand were probably one of the best partnerships in the Premier League's ever seen. Um, but I think the rest of the team is. I mean, Tevez was all right, but I don't think he was all oh, Tevez a world was a class. Great player. Do you think? I think he was so oh. underrated. He was like... so good. So I think underrated. He was all right. I think he was I all right. He'd, but... he'd done a hell of a lot of dirty work for everyone else. Yeah, maybe. But Rooney and Tevez and Ronaldo, when they play to you, know, yeah. as soon as you see them on a the pitch, just go home. Yeah, I just when, think... they was, when they was playing, they was unbelievable. I just think there's a lot better players in the Man City team like then over the if I was putting them up trying to put them up next to each other I know it's hard because they're playing different formations and different players in different positions but like Edison Van der Sar who would you rather have? Uh, probably honestly Van der Sar yeah so. okay so well, yeah I'd, I'd agree with that maybe yeah so yeah we'll, we'll actually this is how we'll work it out we'll actually go through the team <laughs> and All see right, if we can work out then. right so you know say that and then you've got like so, we'll go with John Stones and Wes Brown you, you're picking John Stones all day long aren't you, you this there's no doubt about it. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. All right. Fair right. Enough. So, I mean, and if you want to, I mean, Nathan Ake, he's not even a left back, he's a centre back, playing left back. Oh, Patrice Evra. I think I'm going Ake. I'll be honest with you. What? No, you're yeah, not I think going I am. I think I am. Yeah, I think I am. Andrew, um, come in here, sort this, sort this out. Yeah, I, I, get your deciding <laughs> vote in. I do, I do really like Ake, but I don't think he's better, a better left back than Evra. Like, All right, okay. Yeah, no we're, way. We're, we're two two one to Man United at the moment is, yeah. and then like you're looking at Diaz now. Who do you want to put him up against? Because he can go up against any. He's losing. Yeah, I do you think he's losing both of them? Yeah, I think right, okay. we'll, we'll, we'll put we'll put them in then over a Kanji and Diaz, right? So they yeah. are so Man Man United four one up, right? With yeah. six players to go, right? We happy with that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, so. Uh, where are we going to go with this way then? So, Rodri and Carrick. It's got to be Rodri, isn't it? Yeah, I'll, go, I'll go, I'll yeah. go Rodri. So, I'll go we're Rodri. going to Rodri. And then we'll go De Bruyne and Skulls. De Bruyne. De Bruyne. I'm going De Bruyne. De Bruyne. De Bruyne. So, run out four, three straight away, right? So, then what? Hardbreeze, Bernardo gingers. Silva? Oh, it's not fair. You made me pick between <laughs> two gingers. <laughs> Hardbreeze, hard hard Bernardo Silva. They're not even really the same player, but I'm going with Bernardo Silva all day long. I was a for me, huge I... fan of Owen Hargreaves. For me, that, I'm that going formation for there isn't a formation, is it? No, it's, no, it's probably more of a diamond, hard. isn't it? But, but, but even if you wanted to go Hargreaves and Rodri, you're still picking Rodri, aren't you, over Hargreaves? Like, I don't think Hargreaves yeah, is going yeah. in front of anyone in that midfield. I don't, they're just not, is no, it? Go on then. I'll let you and then, that like, I suppose, you so we're now, we're now at 4 all, aren't we? Or, I think, aren't we? Yeah. 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 And then what are you going to do? You're going to go with... And the last Good. three are Man United. Are they? I'm, I'm having Haaland over Tevez all day long, straight away. No, I'm having Rooney over Haaland. Uh, uh, Rooney, all right, well, I'm having Haaland over Tevez. Or, uh, yeah, it's, it's, I'll, I'll, now you're sad. You're probably going Ronaldo over Greenish, aren't you? And then you've got Gundogan yeah. and Rooney, probably. I suppose. Did you just say you're probably <laughs> going Ronaldo over Greenish? <laughs> <laughs> Look, if it, if it comes to it, I might pick Ronaldo over Grealish. But... Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, right, anyway, yeah. And then I suppose you probably, I mean, I think there are some ums and buts there, but you probably have gone 6-5 Man United there, but I still think um, the Man City it's team close. would win. I think it's close, but I would. Andrew, probably. have the final say on this. What, what team think, would you go for? I think it's close, but I, I think I would go for United. I think Rudy and Tevez. Well, even though... They they won the Champions League that year, but did they win the Premier League that year? I, I think they didn't do a treble, bit, did they? I, I think they it didn't might do be a treble. Little, they didn't do a treble, no. I think it might be a little bit though of recency bias because it just happened and we're just remembering what they were like last season. But I, I don't, don't know. know. I, think, I don't. I, mean, I think that bigger ones put out to to see what people think. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we'll have to put it on the old socials. But you could go to the treble against the treble winning team and you'd definitely pick more Man City players. Oh, yeah. So do you think that team there is better than... Uh... Player for player, yes, 100%. The defence is a hell of a lot better. You'd probably go Beckham over Bernardo. But, yeah, you ain't going to pick Andy Cole or Dwight York over Haaland. No, true. But then you've got Roy Keane over Rodri. It, it gets a bit more 
thingy, but Ooh, I don't know. over Rodri. Yeah, I think Chelsea yeah, is about. Yeah. Nah, yeah, Rodri, tough, Rodri all day long. I don't know. That's tough over one. Roy Keane. Yeah, I think Rodri. I just think is probably the best modern day sort of holding midfielder. I mean, he's even bringing goals to his game now. Like he never scored a goal. Now he's banging in goals as well. Do you know? I don't know, that's a big old claim. Yeah, I like Rodri over Roy Well, Keane. actually, I, I, do, I fucking hate Rodri, but I hate Rodri, but I absolutely despise Rodri. I wouldn't even look at him if I saw him in the street. I'd walk straight past him, not even acknowledge him. That's how much I hate him. But he is one hell of a footballer. Yeah, he is. He's a good, good player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that was another exciting episode of the Football Feast Extra. Actually, for once, all three of us were here. And I think we did bring up some good topics, some dangerous topics for us to talk about as well. We're not scared to talk about stuff. This is real life and real things are happening. Um, That was episode 14. Hope you enjoyed it. Come back again next week and I might be here, I might not, depending on if this baby shows up. Oh, yeah. Thanks for listening. Also, we we might be cancelled, but hopefully we'll be here. Yeah. 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 Football feast, uh, football feast, this the football feast, extra podcast, hey, football feast, uh, football feast, bro. football feast, extra podcast, playing soccer, grabbing keys, playing soccer, time to meet, playing soccer, time to beat, they been to talk a lot, okay, playing soccer, get the keys, playing soccer, let's get it, playing soccer, let's go, football podcast.